Hi everybody and welcome to Class Fit Sugar. My name is Katya Price. I am the proud CEO and founder of Dance Body. Now today, I am taking you through 25 minutes of dance cardio and sculpt. Yes, it is going to be intense, but also very, very fun and effective. Now today, I am wearing my dance bands. They're my wrist weights. They weigh a little less than one pound, but if you do not have any wrist weights at home, no need, you will still get a very sweaty workout. Welcome everybody to your 25 minutes. Let's inhale those arms up right away and exhale them out to the side. Just opening up that chest to start, getting that blood flowing. It's gonna be a great 25 minutes. A lot planned for you today. I want you to meet to my right, Megan and Brooke. Megan will be giving you some modifications today if you feel like something's just a little too crazy and Brooke will spice it up for you. Big press overhead. Let's hold it here and we push it. Other side, just opening up that body, starting to communicate, getting ready for movement, hold it here. Okay, let's take it center. Nice wide plie, warming up that lower body, just hold it right here. Okay, now hold it center. We're gonna go side, bring it center. Side, bring it center. Good, rotating around those thighs. Just getting that blood flowing. Okay, it was a quick warm up because we have so much in store for you today, right? Okay. <laughs> they saw a little preview and uh, we were already sweating. So we're gonna try to bring it to you. It's gonna be good. Light on those feet. Let's go right into that jack. We're gonna press it four times to the side. Three, two, overhead, big arms, big press. Other side, let's even it out. Okay, our first dance move, we're gonna try our grapevine. Grapevine, party. Hey, we don't waste any time for four. Four big knees to the side, grapevine. That's right, we're ready for you today. Hold it up. We're gonna do that same thing again. Repeat right here. Now the first time you see it, it might be looking like it's hard, but it's not. We're gonna repeat these moves so many times. Bring it back. And by the way, if you're dancing at home, you can dance as hard as you want. No one's watching anyway. Pull it back, unless I come over and I see you doing it. <laughs> Let's move it back right here. Open up that chest, move it back, run towards me. Run it up. Okay, now watch me here. We're gonna go down and up right here. Down, kick your butt. That heel's coming all the way up, warming up that hamstring. Now that inner thigh, tap that heel. Warming up that inner thigh. For four, three, two, back to our jack. Big push. Nice, guys. That heart rate is already getting up there. Right? Do that again. This movement is so effective. All your muscles are working together. Heats you up quick. Grapevine, grapevine. Let's party. Hey, there it is. For four, three, squeeze those abs. Let's bring it back. Grapevine, party it out. What's up? Big knee here. Okay, let's back it up. Back it up. Open those arms. Now run it to me, kick your butt. You're the only one who can. No one else is gonna kick your butt for you. You have to do it. Let's run it up. Okay, ready? We're gonna go down to go up, right here. Down, up. That heel comes right up. Nice long arms, energy flowing through that body. Inner thigh, we tap that opposite heel. Tap, squeeze it up. For four, three, two, jack it out, push it out. Whew. Now, these little weighted bands really make a big difference. A little bit less than one pound, but it just adds a little resistance to everything so that you're really activating your muscles. Let's create fine, party it out. Last time, enjoy it. Pull that knee up every time. You're getting that ab work, great find it back. Hold it. Pull that knee up for four, three, two, one, and hold. Okay, it's only our first dance, so we gotta keep that energy up. Now that your body is warm, we're gonna take it down just a little bit, but not too much. I want you to feel your abs, pull that belly button back to your spine. We're gonna start pushing that hip to the side. Just those arms are crossing over, out, other side, same thing, cross and open. Kind of lean into that hip. Okay, this next part, we're gonna get those arms involved. We go elbow, press, elbow, press. Now you'll notice Megan is your modification. Her feet are not moving, 
but me and Brooke are going to town, right? Yeah. There you go. Now, twist that hip right here. Really big hip twist. Now roll it down, feel those abs do that again. Big twist, that hip toward me. Roll it down. Now we're gonna go towards the back of the arms. We're gonna go single, single, double. Now you'll notice Brooke is gonna go low and spicy. She's really gonna twist that knee and get down there, getting the most out of that workout. Okay, other side, that hip. Have to do both sides here. Make sure we're nice and even. Push that chest forward. Hip twist toward me. Now push that chest forward. Same thing, those arms. We go single, single, double press. Single, single, double. Feel that back of the arm. Push it through. Okay, now that you've seen the moves, we're gonna hit it a little harder. Hip, push. Those arms are crossed and opening. Other side, push it through that hip. Right, enjoy it. <laughs> Working out is the new club. Elbow, push, elbow, push. Step it through. If you're not ready for that step, you're following Megan and really nailing that arm. Feel those muscles. Now that hip twist right here towards me. You wanna close off that hip. Roll it all the way down, do that again. Big hip twist. Yep, all the way. Picking up a few new dance moves here. Here we go, single, single, double. Now remember, if you wanna amp this up, you are following Brooke. She's gonna give you a nice transverse rotation. That's what dancers are all about. We wanna rotate around that muscle. Other side, big twist. You'll notice we never stay in the same spot for too long. We're always going all the way around that muscle to make sure it has a nice little twisted effect to it. Okay, push it, single, single, double. Oh, uh-oh, I have some news. It's gonna start to get a little bit more intense at this point. So just know that and commit to that. We're gonna keep moving together, right guys? Okay, push it up for two, then we go side, side. Up for two, side together, side together. Push up for two, light on those feet. I don't wanna hear those feet coming down. Push it up, abs tight. All right, we're getting ready. We're gonna do a big kick step down on that break right here we go. Kick, step, drop. Now if you're not ready to go all the way to the floor, you are following Megan and keeping that head up. Now rotate for two, punch for three. Three, two, one, rotate for two. Punch it out, four, three, two, one. Other side, knee, toe, step, drop, knee, toe. This is really important, make sure that knee is up first, then you kick, rotate, four, two, punch it out, three, two, one, again, rotate, three, two, one. We leap for four, three, two. Now deep inner thigh, under the fence for four. Let's do that again. My little ballerinas behind me are so good. I can barely hear them landing. That means they're using their abs nice and tight. Try it again, up and over. Just pretend you're like kind of jumping over a log or some homework or a pile of laundry, a dog, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> right? Okay, get ready right here. We're gonna do one kick, bring it down. Now, you are following Megan. If you're modifying, you're staying forward. If you're getting spicy, you're really twisting with Brooke all the way around. Okay, hold here, everybody, hold it. Three, two, one, little jump. Three, two, one, sit that butt back. Those knees are behind the toes. Following Megan with no jump if you're not ready for that. But I think you might be ready. I mean, I wasn't ready and I did it. Two, side, side, good guys. You can go as low as you can here. Really challenge that low body. That's how you're gonna get sweatier and work harder. It's by going lower with that body. Knee toe, let's kick right here. Knee toe, step, drop. Knee toe, step. Woo, this is the good stuff. You Whoa. can make it. Let's go, rotate for two, three, two, one. Again, rotate, punch it out. Other side, knee toe, knee toe, step. Woo, working out is easier. You put a smile on your face, scientifically proven, right? Rotate, twist it out, three, two, one. This is where you have to push yourself and just commit. Let's leap for four, three, two. Go nice and low, inner thigh, nice and low. Repeat that, leap it out. Oh, beautiful ballerina here for four, three, two, one. Deep inhale it up, 
Yeah, and exhale it down. Oh my gosh. Well done. Well done, you. Well done, you. Good. Okay. Okay. This is where these dance bands are going to kill. We are going Latin. Press that back of the arm, extending it back. Double pulse. If you can, give me a little hip twist here. Let's mess with that rhythm. We go single, single, double, hit. Really activating that back of the arm, but relaxing that shoulder, drawing that energy out. Push away right here. Push. Hot up. Yep. Good. Nice long reach here. Energy through those hands. Stepping side, side. Here's that hip twist. Front and back and front and back. Got to keep those feet going. If you're newer, you're following Megan just to get that footwork. If you're going to go spicy, you know who you're following. Brooke is giving you lots of arm, lots of hip, stepping into it, really twisting that ab. Hold it here, just the arms. Out, up, out, and in. Nice long arms, energy reaching through those hands. This is how dancers move. Right here, we go to the front for three, for two. Now, same arm and leg, push it up. Squeeze that side, point that toe, don't forget, for four, three, two. Hold it up for four, three, two. We're gonna push it side, side like we did. Bada, and push as deep as you can go. Energy pulling you back. Three, here's our hip twist. Right here, we go front and back. I didn't hear any like loud exclamations of, there it is, I didn't hear any fun back there when we started this. Okay, other side, let's go. Dip into it, there it is. Let's make it fun, we have to. It's hard work. Three, two, hold those arms, let's go. Out, up, out, bring it in. Beautiful long extension of the arm. If you have these dance bands on, you're feeling it extra. Yep, pause back, single, single. This is the beauty of dance. It's fun, it's expressive, but man, it works. Single, single, double, double push. How long have you guys been dancing? Like a couple decades, really. A couple decades, right? Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know, dancers move second nature. This does have a learning curve to it, to hear that music and express your body to the beat. But what's more fun than learning a new skill while you're at home? Might as well. And to move in a different way, right here, push away. Big press. Challenge your body to bust out of that box of comfort and really move someplace different. Hold those arms. We go side, up, out, and in. The only reason you may not think you're a dancer is because you haven't danced yet. Hold it here. Woo, inhale it up. Let those arms rest. Okay, I'm not giving you a break. We are not taking a break. We are going right into our final cardio, our final dance cardio, our ballet cardio. This means nice long arms, pulling up in the abs. Are you ready for this? Okay, my little ballerina. How about you? <laughs> right? Feeling the grace yeah. just kind of rising up in your body, right? Now, if you're familiar, we're starting with a little changement right here. We go, switch, two, three. Now, two grand plie to the side. We go, four, three, two, one, deep plie, two more. Keep that chest lifted, relax those shoulders. Okay, guys, we're gonna push it up four times to the side. We go for four, three, two, pony side to side. Long arms. Now, we're touching that arm all the way down to the floor. Now, if you're not ready for that, you're staying up with Megan, keeping that head lifted. So important if you're feeling dizzy, push it for four, three, two, side, side. Get those arms ready. All the way to the floor with me and Brooke. Let's go. But keep that head up. Keep that head up. Keep that head up. <laughs> Hold it here. Let's balance on one leg. Pick a leg, any leg. Hold it. Same arm and leg. We pulse it back, opening up that chest. Relax it down. Other leg. Ooh, breathe. Pull that belly button back into your spine. Let's go to our changement right here. Grand plie for two. Let that energy go out. If you can, pointing your feet in between those jumps, using your inner thighs to sip up. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna push it here for four, three, two. Hold it. 
for four, three. Now, we're gonna go fame style. Step, hop. You have to say Woo! fame. <laughs> Big heart. Live there you go, live forever. I love it. That's how I feel. Like dancing is the fountain of youth as far as I'm concerned. Let's push it up. Step, hop, and back. Push, yeah. You don't have to get it right, doesn't matter. Hold it, balance right here, hold it. Harness that energy. Arm and leg, push back. Now this is the work. Find a spot, lock your eyes, and commit to staying balanced. You can do it. It's a mental game, you guys. Hold it here, hold it. We're gonna push one more time, right here. Hold it for four, three. We're gonna touch it down all the way. Touch, hup, hup, all the way down to up. This is the last song of dance cardio, so you know you have to push it up for this last 20 seconds. Hold it side to side, beautiful long arm. Tap the floor, we go down. Hup, last three, last two, last one. And deep inhale it up and exhale it down. Well done, you guys, that was awesome. Okay, now that we've done our dance cardio, we are not done with our workout. Go ahead, grab your exercise mat and I will meet you on the ground for sculpt. All right, now that we are down, we have our exercise mats and we are ready to rock. Now, I have added a little bit of extra credit. I've added ankle weights, but you do not have to add that if you don't have those at home. For advanced, you're gonna watch Brooke. For more beginner, you're watching Megan. Now today, you're taking that leg straight behind you and you're taking it a little bit out to the side. So you're on the 45 degree angle. Again, we're using hex mats from Dance Body, so they are numbered. If you have this at home, you're going to the number four. You're gonna hover your leg right out to the side, flex that foot, lift it up and drop. So now, squaring those hips, abs are nice and tight, relax in those shoulders, take that foot straight up. You're only going to about hip height. Now, if you wanna make sure that you are doing this right, go ahead and lift up that opposite arm, just like Brooke is doing, and give yourself a little challenge Hold it at the top right here. We're gonna flex and press that heel into that number four or to that 45 degree, probably that back corner of that room that you're working out in. Just hanging out, hold it here. We're gonna go down, up, in, out. Down, up, in, out. A little combination here. We are targeting the outside of your glute. Now, this is gonna do a couple things. Not only is this gonna make you feel and look really good, it's going to prevent injury and make sure your body stays nice and strong for all the movement you want to do. Hold it here. We're going to cross it over and out, over and out. So you're going to that cross diagonal and then back to that spot where you started. Foot is still flexed, squaring those hips, flexing that foot, reaching it out over. Now hold down that cross diagonal, hold it here. Little presses through that heel. Now these are really small. If you want, you can lift your hand up and feel just under that butt cheek. Make sure you're feeling that squeeze right under there. Hold it for four, three, two. Right here, we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna drop that leg, lift the bottom leg, drop, lift the top leg again. So we go, drop, lift, drop, up. So nice and quick. Those abs are tight, suctioning up that belly button up towards the spine, down, up, down, lift. Abs and booty, getting both sides. Four, and drop. Three, and drop. Last two, drop. Last one, hold it there, hold it. Let that arm hover so you're still in that cross diagonal, reaching that arm long. Now, if you're gonna stick with Megan, keep that arm down, relaxing those shoulders. Draw that hand towards that knee reaching that leg behind your body. Nice long reach here. Squeezing those abs to the side. Four, eight, seven. Feeling it? Anyone? Everyone's awfully quiet back there. <laughs> Hold it here. Just a little pulse to finish it out. Hold it here. You're gonna drop that arm, but keep that leg lifted. Bring that opposite elbow down. Lift that leg a little bit higher. As that elbow is down, it's going to relax your low back a little bit so that you can get that leg up just a little bit higher to really feel that side of the butt cheek, burning it out here. 
and slowly bring that leg down. Okay, knees together. We're gonna sit to the side and really stretch out that side of the hip. Whew, keeping those knees together, you're just stretching that outer abductor, just to make sure. Now both legs are gonna get sore here because that other leg was working hard to keep you lifted. Now it's that leg's turn to work. So let's bring that leg right out. Now, to get your right positioning, if you put that leg behind you, then slightly take it to the side and then turn it on its side, that's where you wanna end up. Straight lift right here. Those shoulders are right above those wrists. Nice little bend in that elbow. Those hips are square. You are feeling that outside of your glutes starting to warm up, hovering up over that mat. Hold it at the top, little press. Now remember, we tested this before. You can lift your opposite arm to make sure you are not leaning into your opposite side too hard here. Hold it here. Pressing through that heel. This is why it's kind of good to have a dance body hex mat because they have the numbers on the side so you always know what number we are hitting. Right, you feel that number five, Brooke? Number five, <laughs> no. There you go. Let's do our combination. We're gonna go down, up, in, and press. Down, up, in, press. Now this is the move where you're really gonna feel that burn a little bit. So it's down, up, in, press. These movements all together make such a big difference. Hold it right here. We're going cross and open. So if you're on your hex mat, you're going to number four, number five, over each shoulder. That foot is still flexed. Abs are nice and tight, relaxing those shoulders. Remember, posture here, it still counts. You want a nice long body. Now hold it on that cross diagonal, pressing through that heel. Now this was the part I had you take that arm over. If you can balance, feeling right underneath that butt cheek, making sure you are feeling the pain. Oh yeah. <laughs> and feeling the results. Why not? Hold it here. Three, two. Now we're gonna lower it here. Lower, lift that bottom leg, drop and lift. So it's down, abs, drop. Let's speed it up right here. Down, lift and up. Right, so we're getting both sides of the body here. You are exhaling sharply to draw that knee up and towards that spine. Let's lift it up for four. Breathe it out. Try not to hold your breath. Last two. Last one. Let's hold it up there. Hold it, little kicks. Now reposition yourself, shoulder over your wrist. You're gonna pick up that same arm as leg. That arm is hovering long over that diagonal. If you're not ready for this, you are following Megan. Holding it there. We're gonna tap that knee at your side right here. Tap, nice and long. Firing up that side of your body. Now think about this as an air crunch. This is how we work. We're never not thinking about abs here, people. All the time. Three, two, and one. Now, lower that arm, but keep that leg going. We're gonna lower to that opposite elbow all the way down so that you can lift that leg a little bit higher. Don't get confused. We are not relaxing. We are still working. I want that leg nice and high at the very top. Relax in those shoulders. Looks good. Turn that knee out. Make sure you're feeling that side of the glute. We're wearing it out right here. Four, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Lower that knee right down. Oh. Great job, you guys. Go ahead, sit to the side. Knees are together. You're just stretching that outside of the hip and of course the other side. <sighs> Doesn't take much. That was about seven minutes of a little butt lift. That's all it takes. It just takes the right kind of work. Okay, we are going to finish this workout with abs. So go ahead, lay down on your mat. You're gonna extend your legs all the way down. Relax that body, find a nice position. Go ahead, pick a leg, any leg, and cross it over the opposite leg. Now from here, we are going to do a reverse crunch. What that means is you are going to lift your hips off the floor and tap. Lift and tap. So we are giving a hyper focus to our low abs. Now make sure those knees are lifting directly over the hips, that you're not swinging it too far like this. <laughs> not too far. Now extend those legs straight up over the hips, point those toes, Energy is going right up through that ceiling. We are gonna target these low abs once and for all, people. 
feeling it, pressing that spine down into that mat. Hold it at the top. We're dropping that same leg that was crossed all the way down and lift. Inhale, exhale as you bring it down. Now, if you wanna bring your hands under the sides of your hips to even out that spine, it's a great idea, it may help a bit. Hold it at the top. We're going open, lift, drop, bring it together. Open, lift, drop. Let's speed it up right here. Open, lift, drop. Now again, the secret here is connecting your breath. You wanna exhale as you lift. Open, exhale, pressing that spine down into that mat. We're feeling it now. I know no one can talk, so it's okay. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> Just know that I know that you're still there. Okay, last one. Other side, we're gonna drop that leg over that opposite leg, tapping that toe. We're gonna swing lift and drop, targeting those low abs. Exhale. Every time you crunch, you wanna think about exhaling on the effort. So E for E, exhale on the effort. So exhale when it gets tough. When it gets really tough, you feel that contraction. That's when you wanna blow the air right out of your body. Let's extend those legs straight up through the ceiling, making sure you're not swinging over your hips. Really important to target the low abs as you can. Pressing it straight up for two. Last one, hold it at the top. That same leg drops down and lift. The opposite leg is just bending in and you're allowing that leg to lead long, all the way down, inhale, exhale. Last three, last two, last one, hold it here. Now we're gonna do something a little different. Separate those feet. You're going to lift, bring one leg in front, lift again, bring the other leg in front. So it's lift, swap, hold. Lift, swap, hold. So now we're involving the inner thighs. Exhale, lift, and switch those legs. Woo! Woo. Tough one, right? <laughs> I know. We're gonna get after these low abs, like I said. They're an underutilized part of the body. It's my job to light it up. Last two, last one. Hold those legs, pull the knees right over that chest. Go ahead, roll that spine side to side just to relax that body. All right, let's pull those legs back and swing those bodies up. Oh my goodness, Brooke, oh my God. Megan, it was an absolute pleasure to work out with you guys again. I hope you all at home enjoyed Dance and Sculpts. My name is Katya, again, founder of Dance Body. I'm so happy to have you today and we hope to see you again on CrossFit Sugar.